So this time of year, when people are thinking about bank runs, they're usually thinking about something like It's a Wonderful Life, where you see people lining up outside the bank and waiting to withdraw their money, hoping that the money will still be there. Bank runs still happen. We're still very much at risk of bank runs, but they often look very different to the general public. These bank runs typically happen behind the scenes. It starts with two different types of players. The first is a money market mutual fund or somebody who's a large cash lender. These mutual funds hold large scale retirement accounts for a typical individual, or they might hold pension funds or other sort of savings vehicles. Now these money market mutual funds, they actually have a lot of cash that has just been deposited by individuals. And they lend that cash to dealer banks overnight, hoping to make a little bit of interest. Typically these dealer banks pledge collateral that might come in the form of treasuries or maybe mortgage-backed securities, auto loans, student loans. These are large-scale banks that are very common name. You might bank with them. So a money market mutual fund might decide to run on the bank and it runs by clicking a button and saying, I'm no longer rolling over this trade where I lend you cash and you give me collateral. And the money market mutual fund might want to do this if they lose faith in the dealer's reputation, if they think the things that the dealer bank is investing in are too risky. So the way that a consumer would typically notice this would be if the consumer now all of a sudden has a negative event, maybe they get laid off at their job or they have a health event and now they call the bank and they say, can I have um, one or two months forbearance and delay my payment or could I have a modification? And the bank might now say, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm not able to do that. I'm hemorrhaging cash in my other wholesale lending practices and I have no money left, so I really need your money now. And it's a wonderful life. The bank run is solved because George and Mary used their honeymoon money to back the bank. What they're doing is they're injecting a bunch of cash into the bank. And so in real life, we solve bank runs the same way. We decide if the bank's assets are actually valuable, not too risky, and we wanna save or salvage the bank. And then um, if we decide that the bank is salvageable and we want to salvage it, what we're going to do is regulators and other large banks are going to come together and figure out how they're going to inject this bank with a short-term amount of money in order to pacify lenders who are withdrawing cash. Bingo! We made it! Close the door, Eustace! We made it! Look, look, we're still in business!